Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. Let's say the average distance between the uh, the the Earth and the Sun is um, is is 1.5 times 10 to the power of 11 meters. Okay, and um, and the reason why we say it's average, uh, it's an average distance, is because of this. If you um, if you look at the the Sun here, um, if you look at the Sun, uh, the when when the Earth revolves around the Sun, it, it doesn't do it in a perfect circle. It, it does in a, in a, some sort of elliptic um, uh, path. So so here uh, this distance here is a lot longer longer than than this distance here. Okay, and this distance here is a lot longer than than let's say this distance here. So that the the reason why we say it's average is because you we, we've got to take the the average of all these distances here. Okay, so so the average let, let's just say the average distance between the um, the sun and the earth is given by this. Now the speed of light is given by this. So the question is, how long does it take for for light from the sun to reach Earth? Okay. So think about this. Um. Well, uh, well, the, let, let's say it takes this. This is a distance here. Well, if if let's say in one second it travels this distance here. So so let's say one second it tra travels here. Two seconds it will be here. Three seconds it will be here. Four seconds it will be here. So, so you, you you know that you've got to you've got to well well if if you want to know how if if, if this is the total distance here and one second you've done this this much and the next second you've done this much and and the third second you've done this much well if you want to know how long it takes then then you would get the whole distance here and and chop it up well anyway do do whatever you have to do um find out the the uh, the time it takes for for light to um to reach earth from the sun okay so uh press pause and have a go okay so so given uh given that the, this distance here is um is 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 given by this here um uh, well in, in one second we would have we would have done this this much so one second let's let's just say we've done this much one second we've done this much one second we've done this much and so on well Really, you, you want to get this whole thing here divided by 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 uh, the the amount the well divided by this distance here, and it will give us the time that it takes. So basically, it's it's this number divided by this number here. Okay, so um, it, well, think about it. The distance here, and then if if you if you do this this uh, this distance here in hang on, if you do this distance here in um. In one second, then two seconds, you would have done this. Three seconds, four seconds, and and so on. So basically, get this distance and divide it by divide it by this length here, and it will give you the the time in in seconds. Okay. Um. All right. So so basically, get this divided by this. Okay. So hang on. So it will be uh one point five uh times ten to the power of eleven divided by uh three. Uh, times 10 to the power of 8. Okay. Um, so now uh, we we are going to split this up. So 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 at the moment we've got this block times this block, and then this at the bottom is this block times this block. So let's let's split up the uh, the fraction here like this. So so this this will equal how it will equal this uh, 1.5. Uh, so so this is one block over over three, so this is another block, and then and then well, what we're doing is we're splitting up this fraction, so it's like this. Um, hang on, it would be uh, ten to the power of eleven uh, divided by uh, ten to the power of eight. Ten to the power of eight. The reason why we're doing this is because uh, this here and this here would be really easy to do. Uh, well, well, just now, just get this fraction. What is that? So one point five divided by three. Uh, hang on, calculator. 1.5, uh, 1.5 divided by 3 equals this, equals a half. Okay, so, uh, equals 0.5, and then, so, so, so this thing here is, a, is a half here. So this is a half. Okay, um, and then, uh, and then we've got to, we've got to, uh, times it with, with this thing here. Well, uh, remember, if you have x to the power of seven divided by x to the power of three, well, that gives you x to the power of four. Well, it's just this take away this. So now we're just going to get this 
take away this. So, uh, so this whole block here will be, will be, uh, 10, uh, to the power of 3. Okay? 10 to the power of 3. Um, so, so now, um, so, so now convert this. Well, we could do this, uh, 0.5, and then, um, well, we, 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 well, we could imagine it with lots of zeros, okay? And then, and then we move the decimal one, two, three. So it would be here. Because of this three here, we're going to move it by, by three. Um, so, so basically the, the answer would be this, uh, would be 500, okay? Because 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of three. Remember, in one of the earlier videos, I, I asked you to, to master the technique of, um, of jumping from here straight to here in one go. So, so, so given 0 0.5 times 10 to the power of 3, you should be able to jump from here to here in one go. Well, it will be this much in seconds. Now, if you divide this by, by, um, well, there are 60 seconds in, in one minute. Well, get, if, if you want to know the answer in minutes, uh, we can't use equal. We have to use implies, uh, implies, uh, implies, well, uh, get, get five, implies 500 over 60 uh, minutes. So the answer would be this. This would be in minutes, okay, divided by 60. So, um, so, so basically, divide top and bottom by 10. So it's 50 divided by 6. So let's let's get 50 divided by 6. So hang on, 50, 50 divided by 6 equals equals 8.3 uh, equals 8.33 minutes. So, so this, so it, so it takes about 8.33 minutes for light to, uh, to travel from the sun to earth. Okay?